Good morning, staff and students. Hi, my name is Juliana, and I'm coming to you live from WLNK Studios. Today is Friday, April 8th, 2016. Elk Grove Village is expected to have a high of 42 and a low of 24 with rain and snow showers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Link Pride Pledge. I promise to respect myself and the rights and properties of others. I alone am responsible for my actions and attitudes. I pledge to do my best at all times to be a positive role model. Our pledge people for today are Daniela, Tyra, Sophia, Maya, Sarah, Josh. In sports today, last night the Cubs won over the Arizona Diamondbacks 14 to 6. Sox also won over the Oakland A's 6 to 1. The Sox home opener is today against the Cleveland Indians. Today's announcements are. Today is Spirit Day. Teachers, please find the percentage of students who wear spirit wear or their favorite sports team. Send a student to drop off spirit day slips outside room 202. Attention newspaper club members. There will be a meeting on Monday, April 11th. And now a word for Mr. Wolbecker. Happy Friday. I've got some special guests with me here today. Uh, we're going to start with Mrs. Cotto, who was part of our Spanish writing contest. Buenos días. Hoy tenemos a nuestras ganadoras del concurso de escritura español, la tercera edición. Primer premio del tercer cuarto, inglés, quinto sexto y español. Quinto sexto. So today we have some winners with us from the Spanish writing contest. We have our first through third place winners we're going to announce, but we also have some first place winners with us today. All right, who, who are our winners, Mrs. Cotto? Yeah, sí, los ganadores de tercer cuarto categoría, de tercer y cuarto, tercer puesto fue Jaciel. So in third and fourth grade, uh, our third place winner was Jaciel. Segundo puesto, Veda. Second place was Veda. Y primer puesto, Maya. And in first place, Maya. Congratulations all the third and fourth place contestants. Luego, para quinto sexto, hubo dos categorías, inglés y español. So in fifth and sixth grade, there was two categories. There were the English speakers and the Spanish speakers. So who won for our English speakers? Tercer puesto fueron una... Uh, Isaac y Olivia. So for third place there was actually a tie with two winners, Isaac and Olivia. Segundo puesto fue Lauren. Second place was Lauren. Y el primer puesto es Sara, que tenemos con nosotros. And first place, Sarah. Congratulations, fifth and sixth grade English contestants. Y para los de español de primer idioma, Roxy fue tercer lugar. So for our Spanish speakers in third place was Roxy. Segundo, Juliana. And in second place, Juliana, who's doing our uh, announcements this morning. Y primer puesto, Daniela. And in first place, Daniela. Congratulations to all the fifth and sixth grade Spanish contestants. And a big thank you to Mrs. Caro and the other teachers for organizing this wonderful event. Good job, everybody. Y muchas gracias a todos los niños que participaron. Todos hicieron un gran trabajo. Yeah, great job to everybody who participated. They did some great work. All right, now we have some other students to recognize, so if I call your name, come on down to my office. We're going to start up in our dual language classroom with Jack from Mrs. Wojciech and Mrs. Morales' classroom for the This Is It key. He's been very responsible with his learning. He participates and asks questions when he needs clarification. Great job, Jack. All right, we also have Jose from Mrs. Wojciech and Mrs. Morales' classroom for the Commitment key. He's been very dedicated to his work and his learning. He asks questions when he's unsure of something. He is confident with sharing his ideas with peers. Love hearing that. We've got a fifth grader. We've got Jake from Mrs. Vanderheiden's classroom for the Integrity Key. And that's our focus this month. 
<clears throat> he's been working hard in class this trimester demonstrating that his value of doing well in school is being matched with his focused work ethic in class. Awesome. All right, we have two students from Miss Forrester's classroom. It's Briella and Peter for the commitment key. They are committed to learning and good behavior. Great job, guys. All right, and we've got a sixth grader way upstairs, Nick from Miss Kim's classroom 203 for the commitment key. He's been committed to doing his absolute best during our geometry unit. Nick asks questions when he has them and takes the time to carefully double check his work. Nick also takes the time to help explain concepts to students if someone else has a question. Miss Kim is so proud of all the hard work Nick has done this school year. Good job, Nick. All right, staff members who have been doing a great job. Let's start with Mrs. McDougall for the This Is It key. She was nominated by Mrs. Smith for the hard work and support that she gives her students. We have, look at this, Mrs. Cotto for the commitment key. She was nominated by Mrs. Cervantes for her commitment to the Spanish writing contest. Oh, yes. And we have Mrs. Mason for the flexibility key. She was nominated by Ms. Schlosser. Mrs. Mason was asked to share some of her time to help out in Ms. Schlosser's classroom, and she happily adjusted her schedule to support them. Fantastic job to everybody. Have a great Friday on this random snowy Friday. And of course, keep on rocking. Thank you, Mr. Wilbacker. Thank you for tuning in to the WLNK studio for your morning news. Have a fly out of school Friday.